welcome back, it's Shelby, and today is the second part of a two-part video, so I am making over a lamp. You might have caught the first part of the video where I made over the lampshade. If not, I will link it above so you can check that out if you would so like to. But today we are making over the lamp and just turning it from kind of honestly a little bit busted and just totally drab to absolutely fabulous. So if you like the video, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and let's get going. So here's the lamp that I got for free and looking at it, you can probably tell why it was free. So it's not wood, it's plastic made to look like wood and it's definitely kind of busted in a few places. So like right there, and you can see it's just, just plastic inside. And then down at the bottom, the reason it leans is because it's missing a good old chunk down there too. But I'm thinking, I might be able to patch that, in which case it will stand upright. But I really like the lines of it. I think it's got some good lines. And I think that this isn't really anything that is a deal breaker. The shade's in good condition. Um, I should be able to patch the base a little bit. And it's got like a place for dual light bulbs. So um, yeah, I'm thinking I can make this a little bit more glam and uh, have a pretty nice lamp. So that's the goal. So I was looking at these like holes and at least this top one definitely isn't bearing any weight. It's very solid. So this is just a cosmetic one. So I'm thinking I can fix at least that one with some air dry clay and basically just mold it into place and let it dry. I think that'll work. So I've got my piece and I'm literally just going to mold it into like a little tube. And then I'm going to attach it by Kind of, this actually might be too much. Kind of sticking it in the hole and... And then just shape it with my fingers until it is the right shape. Okay, so I actually think this looks pretty good. I've just kind of molded it around to like match the shape as best as possible. And um, I figure when it dries, if it doesn't stay, at least it'll be the right shape and I can glue it on. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna call this one a win and I'm gonna work on the one below. That one might be a little bit trickier, but this one's done. So this one down here really does affect the tilt of the lamp. It's the base of it, so it really just needs like a strong little thing there to push against. So I'm not sure clay is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. Otherwise, it's like kind of the steel rod in there, which is great, but I'm thinking that means I can't just remove this piece up to the next joint and bring it down because then the steel rod would be way too long. And I just have an exposed rod at the top of my lamp. So I'm gonna go in there with some clay, see what we can do, and um, if I have to shore it up a little bit later, I will, but the lamp is still standing as it is, even with it chipped away. So, you know, I'm just going to try and get it as straight as possible and just call this a cosmetic job anyway, because it's standing upright by itself. So, and with the clay we go. So I've got this kind of croissant shaped guy here and I'm hoping that it'll just kind of wiggle into place. Slash, let me force it in there. And I'm not totally opposed to changing the shape of this base, like if the clay is enough to hold it but not in the original shape, I have no problem adding more, just taking it all the way around and making this a new shape. But yeah, it's on there, now let's try to shape it. Okay, so that is a pretty good patch job. I like the shape, 360. I think it turned out pretty well. We'll see if it will hold it and stick to the lamp as it is or if it needs to be glued. What I can also do is when it's dry is just add a little bit of glue down here and kind of smush that down. Okay, so the air dry clay is all dry and here's what we're looking at. On the top one, it looks awesome. The shape is perfect and it's stained by itself, which is great. And then we go down the lamp. Oh, I think that worked. 
Awesome, that looks great. Look, it's like totally flat and stable. I think the adding the clay was a good call. It just adds a little bit of support and then it's adhered to the other side. But uh, that is a straight line going up. That is fantastic. All right, next step, we are gonna take it out and paint it. Okay, we've got the lamp laid out over our makeshift tarp and we are going in with a little bit of spray paint. It says it dries in 10 minutes or less, so that's what we wanna do. First one side, then the other, just make it a nice kinda glossy black. All right, we're gonna let that dry and paint the other side. all spray painted glossy black. We're gonna leave that to dry. Look at how straight it's standing though. I did a good job. So I'm just working on taping up the parts of the lamp that I don't want to get painted gold. So I'm about halfway done and basically everything that's exposed once I'm done will be gold. All right, so the black is dry and we have it all taped up with masking tape and trash bags. And the only thing that I have left exposed are the parts that I want painted gold. So I'm going to paint them gold and uh, we'll unwrap it and see what we're left with. The gold is all painted, and now I'm just going to let it dry. We'll see what we ended up with. Okay, so we're all done. Here is how it turned out. I think it looks awesome. I love the gold and the black play. So here is kind of, um, remember I did the clay, so here's how it looked once it's all painted. You can definitely see it, but honestly, not even that much. Like, you kind of have to point it out, and it took me a minute to find it. So, other than that little bit of lip there that I don't really know what happened, but, um, yeah, I think that turned out pretty well. And then going down to the bottom, um, this is actually the piece of clay right here. Um, let me get to the edge where it smooths away. So, right here, that's where it blends into the actual piece, so I think it actually blends pretty well. Um, the shape of the lamp just kind of helped with the gold and the black, so I think it turned out really cute. It's got like a nice little glam look to it. So I'm going to turn it on and assemble it and we'll see what we've got. So I don't know if you saw my video on decorating the lampshade. If not, I will link it above. Um, basically, I did this as the first step of the lamp and I just took a basic plain boring lampshade, covered it with black satin and some gems and made it super bedazzly and beautiful. So I'm gonna put this on the lamp. And the little ball screwed on top. There it is, it looks so good. All right, we're gonna turn it on and ta-da! How great does that look? Oops, we got a little hot glue hanging off there, but um, yeah, how adorable is that? Do you guys remember what it looked like to start with? I mean, I guess you do, it was a couple minutes ago, but for me, this was like, I did this over the course of a week, so I can't even remember what it started with. I know it was bad, but like, this is so great. I love this, I'm super excited with how it turned out. So what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I love hearing from you. If you like the craft, go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know I'd appreciate that. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you here again soon. Thanks so much for watching, bye for now.